how you can make a post like this on Instagram where you have the continuous photos all right where the photos just continues I'm going to show you how you can make a video like this just stay with me so let's go all right so the first thing you're going to do is to create hello guys welcome to another new video i'm so sorry it's been a long time we posted see i've really been busy with a lot of work so i want to see how this year i can do a lot of videos and do more online retouching class create more courses create more preset more lots i i just hope i just pray that i'll be able to arrange everything and be able to give more content that will help a lot of photographers out there a lot of researchers so let's go to today's video and today i'll be teaching you how you can make uh, how you can make a post like this on instagram where you have the continuous photos all right where the photos just continues i'm going to show you how you can make a video like this just stay with me so let's go all right so the first thing you're going to do is to create a new document so you come to file new all right so i'm going to create a custom document so let me call it ig post let me call it long post okay so now the width depend on how many pictures i'm going to use all right how many slides you want if you want more slides you make this one larger but it should be in the multiple of four so i'm going to put this as 20 then the height should be five because you know instagram works with four by five or square so you leave this at five so when you do that you press create once you do that all right let me close this all right so once you do that so the next thing you're going to do is that you would make sure your rulers are showing if it's not showing press ctrl r and then press ctrl h just make sure the rulers are showing so you take this um you take you just come to this place click and drag out and then you drop now if you're going to drop now let me make sure you understand this right click on this and ensure it's on inches not on pixels make sure it's on inches when it's on inches the moment you take from here make sure you stop at four inches take another one out and stop at eight inches take another one out stop at 12 inches take another one out stop at 16 inches so i believe you you get the point so now we're going to put our images but this is just to give us a guide to let us know that this will be slide one slide two slide three slide four slide five on instagram so we're going to lay out the pictures so that by the time we're swiping it moves to the next so this is just to show us how it's going to be so you go to where your files are so where my images are so i'm going to take these images i edited let me just take some you no know, let me just take some photos and um okay so i just dragged and drop just press enter okay 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 all right so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to turn off all all the layers i'll turn on the first one then I can decide which direction where i want to put this first one so if i want to put it at the beginning so note that if it's showing at the beginning this is the first slide the first slide on instagram is going to show from this point to this line so if i want this to fill the frame i can just drag it out if i want it to fill the frame and be something more like this okay so i can turn on this so this is the second photo all right so let's let me assume i want to make the second photo smaller so i'm going to make it smaller like this okay then the third photo okay i like this one big so i'm going to take it under this one and um, i'm going to stretch it out a bit oh i want the full dress to show so since i want the full dress to show you can see that there's a little space under here so in order to feel that most times what i do is that let me turn off everything what i do is that most times i just duplicate one of my images when i duplicate the images all right i'm just going to stretch stretch it out so that's what i do to fill the background so if i have this now i have the next one 
I have this one so there's already something on that's not showing like white so if this image is too sharp for me I could just blow it out I could just blow it out and it won't be a distraction anymore all right so the next photo I can turn on the next photo okay which is this so I want I want to have this small as well so let me see the next photo okay that one is black and white i don't want the image oh so okay see the next photograph so i'm going to put maybe i'll take this one to the end so let me see if i have another photograph i like uh let me see okay so i like this so i'm going to put this one under this so i'm just going to drag it under it and let me see drag it under and stretch it out so this works for me okay so the next thing i want to do let me see if i have i know yes yeah, so i'm going to put this last image here and i'm going to make it smaller so that is how to get it done so the arrangement it, it must not be like this all right just do it the way you like okay so this is also you know how many people that do photo book designs that's how they do it so this is how it is so the moment you do this just select and flatten the layer so you can just press ctrl e flatten it after doing that this is the next thing to do to save your image so you're going to take your crop tool and you can select 4 by 5 if you like all right if you select 4 by 5 just click on this cancel and then um hold on let's see 4 by 5 cancel you're going to all right so the next thing to do is to crop so i just come i'll take this crop and just move this to this point and I press OK and then I'll save when I'm saving I'm going to call this one let's say A so then I'll press undo then my crop again I'm going to move this move this to this line move this here I'll press OK and I'll save as B. So make sure the arrangement follows that order. Okay. Then the next one, I'm going to crop this next one. I'm going to name this as C. Then the next one, I'm going to crop this. I'm going to name it as D. Then the next one, I'm going to crop this and I'm going to name this as E. So, once you have this done, so we just go back to the place where we have them. So, let's see. Let me quickly create a folder and just put them in a folder. So, this A, B to E. So, let me just put them in a folder. So now, if I'm going to post on Instagram, I'll make sure this one is slide A, this one is slide B, slide C, slide D, slide E. So if you look at them now, you see that it looks as if, you know, so that by the time you post them on Instagram, when you swipe gently, you will see that it look as if there's a continuation. There's actually a very thin line that, you know, is not very obvious. So it looks as if there's a continuation. That's how it is that's how you post so this when i'm selecting i'll select a first i'll select b so by the time i post it becomes this one so if this video was helpful to you please drop a comment on that this video all right like subscribe and recommend this channel to other people then if you want me to do you know yeah i'm, I'm looking for ideas on what to do on this is um, youtube page so please drop any suggestions you have 
in the comment section below and thank you for being part of this video see you in the next one